University. I welcome you all for this special uh, session uh, where uh, the expert Ms. Bhavna Lama and C1C2. And uh, this certification, this diploma is valid throughout the life and across all the places in the world. And uh, in fact, I want to tell you one uh, good news that uh, Keat uh, University has recently signed uh, an MOU with Alliance Francis Bengal uh, to jointly promote French language and culture in Odisha. And uh, for that, Keat University will be the uh, major uh, stakeholder where the, we'll be engage our students in learning French and a uh, lot more activities. Are so this uh, online session <coughs> for orientation of Delft is the first of this engagement with Alliance Francis and Keat. So I will now welcome uh, Ms. Bhavna Lama to give her presentation. Over to you. She's the course coordinator for Alliance Francis. Thank you, Samir. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you're doing good. Uh, well, I am thrilled to see so many of you participating or rather attending the much awaited uh, webinar. And uh, well, um, I'm Bhavna and I'm the course coordinator at Alliance Francaise to Bengal. And uh, today's topic, as you all already must be knowing, uh, is exploring the Delph uh, A1 diploma in French. And I assure you, this is going to be an interesting session. So now, uh, without uh, further ado, let's begin our French language journey. So uh, give me a moment and let me share the slides with you. I hope the slides are visible. Now, uh, before we start, when I say France or French, what comes to your mind? What is the first thing that comes to your mind when I when I say France or a French language? Anyone? Please don't hesitate. Go ahead. What comes to your mind when I talk about when I say French or French language or France? What is the first thing that comes to your mind? Belonging to France. I'm sorry? Belonging to France. Belonging to France. Uh, uh, what is the first image that comes to your mind when I say France? What it's is the first thing? Okay, very good. What else? What else? Louvre Museum. Yes, Musée Louvre. Yeah, yeah, Musée de Louvre. Oui. Mm -hmm. What else? La Tour Eiffel or the Eiffel Tower, the museum, uh, Louvre. And what else? What are the images so, that come to your mind when I say France or the French language? Chocolate. Chocolat. Chocolat. Oui, très bien. Oui, yes. Baguette. Language of love. Language of love. Yes, of course. Uh, how can we forget that? What else? Has has anyone learned French before? Yes, I Ah, très bien, très bien. So now, uh, uh, let's let's start. Let's begin. Uh, just give me a moment. Uh, yes. So, bonjour, bonjour, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, now. <clears throat> And I, I believe uh, I, it seems some of you uh, already speak a little French. Some of you must have learned French, and uh, I'm sure there are some who have not, uh, who don't speak French. So I would say it's time. If you haven't learned French, it's time to learn French. And uh, why do I say so? Because I feel, or rather, French is an asset. As you already know, French is one of the most uh, spoken uh, languages in the world, and it is France is also one of the popular destinations for studies. And knowing the French language opens up career opportunities. I'm sure you already know that. But just have a quick let's just have a quick look. Uh, as you must have remarked over the years, the 
French embassy is strongly supporting scientific and academic cooperation between France and India. And India is one of the major partners of France, as you can see the figures here. Hence, learning the French language opens up many job opportunities. And here are some of the companies as pre that are present in India. And uh, I'm sure you already uh, know most of these companies. And here we have some options, more options, career options and opportunities uh, uh, by learning the French language. So, uh, well, generally when I come across students, most of them feel that French is a very difficult language to learn. What do you think? Do you, are you of the same opinion? Do you think? Do you think it's a? Yes, I agree. Language? Yeah, it's a very difficult language. You agree? It's a very difficult language yeah. to learn. Yeah. How about the others? Do you do you think that it's a very difficult language to learn? Not as difficult as German. Not as difficult as German. So you you already you speak German. You've learned German. Okay, so uh, let's let's uh, let's see. Let's look at our second, uh, the next. I just in these domains ones. So yeah, a little bit. Okay, I I would request one of you to read the words which is displayed in the slide. Anyone? Shall I call out the name, or anyone can just read the words which is displayed on the slide? <laughs> Negotiation, yes. nationality, yes. exercise, defense, environment, professional. Thank you very much. Now, negotiation, nationality, exercise, defense, environment, professional. These are words that you already know because these are words, these are English words. Now, do you know what is the French of these words? Does anyone know the French uh, uh, translation of these words? Anyone would like to try? Negocio. Okay, you're very close. You're very close. Uh, negotiation in English and in French, you say negociation. Uh, anyone else would like to try? What is the French of nationality? Nationality. How do you say nationality in French? Anyone would like to try? Don't hesitate, it's okay. Anyone would like to try the French for nationality? It's very easy. No one? Well, I'll give you the answer. Nationality in English and in French you say nationality. Okay? How about the third word? Exercise. Anyone can guess? No? Anyone would like to guess? You can participate. Exercise. Okay, again, very close, I would say. It's exercise. Okay, now give me the French of the word defense. The French word for defense. Defense. Sorry, could you please repeat? Defense. 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 And environment. 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 Sorry, could you please? Environment. 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 Environment in English. Environment in French. And the last word, professional. Professional. Any guesses? Professional. Yes, again, very close. Uh, thank you. It's professional. Okay. Negotiation, nationality, exercice, défense, environnement, professional. Now you see, it's not very difficult. Now. I would like to ask you another quick question. Uh, do you know any words in French? 
even if you have not learned French, do you have you come across any words, French words? Oui, parler. Parler, okay. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Yes. Comment ça va? Comment ça va? Okay. What Merci. else? Monsieur, okay. Très bien. Non, monsieur, monsieur. Oh, bon merci. appétit. Bon appétit, ok. À demain. À demain. Oh, bravo. You already know a lot. Bonne nuit. I'm sorry, could you please repeat? Bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Ok. Now let's look at some of the words in the next slide. I'm sure you all know these words, right? Even those of you who have never learned French. Astronaut, culture, class, menu, table, transmission, restaurant, cuisine. Do you know what? You might have been already using these words in English, but they are French words. Astronaut, culture, class, like in English, class, menu, table, transmission, restaurant, cuisine. So even if you have not learned French earlier, you already know some of the words. So I would say you, or even if you've never learned French, you already know a little bit of French. So now I ask you again, do you still think it's difficult? No. Not really, no. right? It's not really, you already know some of the words which you've been using in your day-to-day -day, uh, communication. Restaurant, cuisine, class, Menu, I'm sure all of you, each one of you today, you've already used those words. And you know what? They're French words, so you already know a few of the words. So I don't think it's very difficult. It's not impossible. Now, <laughs> I would like to play this little video just to show how simple a conversation in French can be. And I'm sure those of you who've already learned French, you will know it already. So I'm going to uh, share the sound, yes. and. Voilà. Ça va Ça va Ça va Ça va, ça va. So you see here, this was a very um, simple, uh, I would say, a very simple conversation. Sorry. Ça va Between, uh, between two ça va? or colleagues, this is a very basic conversation. Ça va which I'm sure some of you already know. Ça va. Answer to this question is very simple. You just repeat. Ça va. Ça va. So it's a very simple uh, conversation. Now, the next question is, uh, <clears throat> let's, let's go to the, how to learn French. Now, for those of you who have not learned French, of course, uh, you learn French with Alliance Francaise de Bengal in partnership with KIT. So, why? Because at Alliance Française, uh, we have a very goal-oriented approach, evaluations, regular assessments, and transparency in language training process. And uh, it is also because, why Alliance Française? Because it is the official French language center. And the method, the teaching method that is used at Alliance Française corresponds to the common European framework of reference for languages. And we promote learning of four specific skills, listening, writing, reading, and speaking. And now we've come to the most important part of the session or the most important section of our webinar that is DELF A1. So <clears throat> we will try to understand what is DELF and what you will learn. So, a1, as you can see, is the very first level or the basic level, often called the beginner's level. And what do you learn in this level? This, in this level, you are able to understand and use familiar everyday expressions, use very basic phrases. And a learner can introduce himself or herself in French, can ask some questions. Okay, for example, where or he or she lives, what he or she does, what does she like, he or she likes, 
and can interact in a very simple way. So often, this level, the beginner's level A1, is also called the, uh, the survival French, where the basic survival French. You can master simple basic phrases. And in case if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me, okay? So this is the first level. And this level, A1, is of 120 hours, a total of 120 hours. And uh, this level has two sessions. It's divided into two sessions. A1.1 is the first session, which is of 60 hours. And A1.2 is the second session, which is of another 60 hours. So this level, A1, is of the duration 120 hours. The total duration of this level is 120 hours, okay? And after every, in the, before the first session ends, when, before you complete 60 hours, you have an evaluation and assessment of all the four skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Uh, do you have any questions? Well, we'll have questions at the end. Uh, there will be questions at the session. All right, all right, okay. Like I said, in this level, we are going to work not only on one skill, but all the four skills, listening, okay? Reading or comprehension, writing and speaking. And after having completed this 120 hours or rather two sessions of 60 hours each, a student is eligible to appear for the DELF exam. Now, what is this DELF exam? The DELF is actually the diploma or diplôme d'études en langue française. So after having completed 120 hours, one is eligible to appear for the DELF A1 exam. Now, this is the diploma that is issued by the Ministry of uh, French Education. Okay. And <clears throat> so here in detail, you can see why DELF is important. Because after you have learned the language, you appear for the exam, and then you receive a diploma. That diploma validates the fact that you have obtained this level, or rather A1, level A1. And it is issued by the French Ministry of Education. And another important aspect of this diploma, as mentioned by Mr. Samir in the beginning of the webinar, is that this diploma is valid for life and it is recognized worldwide. It also, like I said, they allow you to officially validate your French learning. These diplomas constitute a recognition of your school, university, professional background in French language. And it also allows you to study, work, migrate in French speaking country. So if you wish to go to France or any other Francophone country or French speaking country, either for your studies or for work with the DELF, the diploma, it helps you. It is, it adds value to your CV even when you go for an interview. If you, you can say when you're in an interview, you can of course say that I, I, I can speak French, but when you show the certificate, it validates the fact that you can speak, you can communicate, you can write in French and the level that you have obtained. So it adds value to your CV be it your work or when you're going for your higher studies or if you're applying, if you, if you want to immigrate to any uh, in France or in uh, Quebec. So who should take the DELF? Like I just said, <clears throat> the DELF exam, it certifies the level of your language proficiency. DELF has a global currency. It is accepted all over the world. It has the same value all over the world. And uh, if you want to, if you want to go for uh, go to France for further studies, of course, uh, or if you want to go to a French speaking university in Canada, uh, DELF A1 is good, but uh, it's always better to obtain DELF B2. And now we are also going to see uh, DELF. Now, until now, I have uh, spoken about DELF. Now, what is DELF? DALF is the Diplôme Approfondi or the advanced level. So 
for the level A1, A2, B1, and B2, you can take the DELF exam. And after you have completed the B2 level, you can appear for the DELF exam. That is for C1 and C2 level. These are the level superior levels. And with the C1, a C1 is required by master's and doctorate's program. If you intend to go for a master's or doctorate's program, sorry, uh, you can go for C1. And with C2, you can even work. C2 is the highest level. Now, let's see what's your target level. So if, if with A1, if you have the level A1, you can, like I said, it's the basic beginner's level. It's, called, so it's also called sometimes a survival French. That is, if you're traveling to France and uh, you, need to, you need to, say, for instance, buy a ticket, a metro ticket with the level A1, you're able to do that. You're, going to, you're able to buy a metro ticket or you're able to ask directions. Okay? So it's also called a survival French. And with the level A2, when you obtain the level A2, you can describe your experiences. Level B is the intermediate level where you have the level to express your opinion. And B2, speak with confidence. Uh, C1 and C2, well, C1, you can study and work in France. C2, probably you're very fluent. You are as fluent as the natives. So depending on the level that you want, depending on your target level, you can appear for the DELF or DELF exam. Here, like I said, uh, in this pyramid, you can see A1 is the beginner's level, okay, which is after completing 120 hours. And after that, you have the elementary A2 level of, again, 120 hours. And then you go to B1 and B2, which is the intermediate and upper intermediate. And after that, you have the advanced and the expert level, which is the C level. So now uh, we're going to talk a little bit in detail about these DELF exams. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, for every DELF exam, a student or a learner is evaluated in all the four skills, reading, listening comprehension, writing expression, and speaking expression. And all of these four parts are 25 marks each. So the total is 100. Okay, And to be able to get the diploma, you have to get a total of 50 marks or at least five points in each section, okay? And this is, uh, the structure is similar for all the levels. For A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, you have, you are evaluated, a student is evaluated, a candidate is evaluated in all the four, level, uh, four uh, skills, listening, reading, spoken, interaction and production, and writing, be it for A1, a2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So the evaluation is in each of the four competence or skills. So right now, we are going to look at only the level A1. So the first level A1. Now let's look at the duration of the exam. Now the duration of the A1 exam would be for one hour, 20 minutes. That is the total duration of the written exam. Okay, so there are usually there are the, the DELF exam is divided into two parts, the written and oral. So the oral for A1 would be 10 minutes of preparation and around uh, max six to seven minutes of, uh, of the passation. And uh, the next part would be the written. And the written would be a total of one hour, 20 minutes. Now in the written exam, you have the comp listening comprehension, uh, writing and uh, listening, writing and comprehension skills. So you have three skills. Now we are going to look at a, a little bit in detail the DELF A1 examination. So as you can see, the total, now here I'm talking about the written exam. The written exam is of a one hour, 20 minutes duration. Now, in the written exam, you have three skills, listening, okay, so you're going to listen to an audio, and answer to questions. So that would be of 25 marks. 
and there will be little, a very short uh, audio documents, which would be of uh, three minutes each. And the total duration of this part, the listening exam, would be 20 minutes approximately. Okay, so 20 minutes of uh, duration for the listening skills. It would be uh, for 25 marks. And uh, there will be very uh, small, uh, sh short audio documents of uh, maximum three minutes duration. And each document would be played twice. So you listen to it the first time. You read, read the questions. You listen to the document the first time. Try to answer in case. And then you listen to the, sec uh, the document again the second time. And you verify your answers. Now, the second skill that you'll be evaluated is the reading or the comprehension. Now, in this skill, comprehension, it is also of 25 marks, and that would be of 30 minutes duration. There would be a, it would, there will be a little text, and they, and there will be some questions based on the text. And it would be of 30 minutes duration. Now, the third part would be writing. Writing, this part is also of 25 marks, and it would be of 30 minutes duration. And uh, there's usually two parts in the written section. So one is simply for the level A1. You have a simple form, for example, uh, you want to become a member in a library. So you, let's imagine that you are in France in a university and you want to become a member in a library. So you need to fill the form. Simple. Second would be, the second part would be writing a simple phrase where, uh, for example, you would have to send a small uh, postcard or you have to reply to an invitation, etc. So that would be of 30 minutes duration. And the total examination time for written exam is for the writing part or the second part, the third part, I'm sorry, is 25 marks. So generally during the DELF exam, you have the speaking, the speaking part takes place in the first half or in the morning, and uh, you have a break. And then from 1 p.m., the written part starts. So when the written section, you have the comprehension, you have the listening, and you have the, the writing, the three, three skills. Okay, and uh, the speaking or the oral production of Khal is also of 25 marks. Now, there are three sections. Oh, the duration, the first one is one minute, where it's a, uh, where, you know, basically you have to introduce yourself, uh, uh, talk about your likes, dislikes, your family, uh, what are you doing, whether you're a student, your profession, etc. And then uh, uh, there will be some uh, exchanging information with the jury. And the third part would be, uh, the third section would be a role play. You will be given a situation. For example, uh, let's imagine that you uh, uh, you are uh, you are in France, and uh, you would like to apply, or you would apply, you would like to apply to, a, uh, you'd like to, for example, uh, join a gym. So uh, the conversation, the first time you go to the center and you want some information, so that could be a situation. And do not worry, you will get ten minutes before the exam to prepare. You will be given the situation, and you will have ten minutes to prepare. So, and during the exam, when it starts, so you basically, it's a role play with the jury. So that would be, like I said, five to seven minutes. Uh, uh, the whole, and the entire, these three parts would be of five to seven minutes duration, for which you will get 10 minutes of preparation. Now, uh, I would like to uh, show you a sample paper of the desk. Well, um, so that you get an idea what it would be like. So this is a very a sample paper of uh, Delph A1. So like I said, you have, this is just a written, this is for the written. You have the comprehension d'oral, which is the listening skills. It will be of around 20, 20 minutes and the marks would be, total marks would be 25. The second part is comprehension des écrites or uh, reading and comprehension which would be of 30 minutes and the total marks 25 for this section. The third section, production écrit, or the writing part, which you have, uh, like I uh, just and I explained some time back, uh, filling up a form, and then the second part would be writing a small message. That would be of 30 minutes duration. Total would be for 25 marks. And uh, the last one is production oral, that is the speaking, which will also be of 25 marks. So this is the division, okay, and the total is 100. 
So these so these are the question. This is the question. So this is a very simple uh, A1 paper, like see. Just give me a moment. Uh, so um hope you can see my slide. Okay, so this is uh, just an example of the certificate or the diploma that you would be uh, receiving after you've completed a certain level. Now, for example, this is B1. So for A1, there would be a similar diploma that you would obtain after completing the level. And not only this, you also have the possibility once you have completed a certain level, for example, A1, A2, B1, you also have the possibility to appear for the TCF exam if you wish to settle in Quebec or if you want to take a residence in Canada, you also have the TCF. So you can appear for the TCF as well. Thank you. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Please go ahead. You may raise hand and, or else you can uh, speak. Directly to ma'am. Bonjour. Actually, okay. ma'am, I had a question. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, I was wanting to ask, like, uh, what are, uh, like, are these classes online as of now, or are they face-to-face -face classes conducted by the Paris Center? Uh, in fact, I'll take the call on this. Uh, well, this class, we, in fact, uh, we will be soon starting the uh, courses uh, jointly with uh, Alliance Francis Bengal and in fact uh, it is a uh, Keat and Alliance Francis uh, joint effort as as I said that Keat University has signed an uh, agreement and MOU with Alliance Francis so that course will be of 120 hours so we will be uh, providing the training as per the syllabus of the Alliance Francis and courses will be online and uh, can we'll these classes Actually, since I am already based in Kolkata, so like uh, that's why I was asking if I would like I would feel really nice to attend the classes from Paris sector in Kolkata. Uh, well, Bhavna, you can reply this. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, well, uh, Ma Sweta, if you're already based in Kolkata, you can always come to our center, Alliance Française du Bengal, at Park Street, and uh, you we we are offering not only online classes but also on-site classes. And you also have the option of hybrid classes. So you can always contact us uh, or you can come to our center. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, please go ahead with the question. Yes, you can ask me any question. No? How many of you have done the basic uh, French course uh, which we are running at KEAT? Like uh, we have the French teacher here, Mr. Monte is here. Hello, sir. I have. Okay, you assume you have done. Okay, fine. What was your experience of when? Because we know we provide a very uh, small level of course, 30 hours, but uh, uh, you might have got the flair of uh, what French is. Fair experience. Uh, it was like it was great and I really enjoyed the course and because of that I got the offer letter from Essential also and uh, like uh, in bilingual language so it was great for me so I think that was a great opportunity okay. like in fact uh, since uh, in Keat University uh, from the third year onwards there's a lot of rigorous exercise happen for the placement interviews like Keat provide 100% placement and a lot of Companies, the French company name, which ma'am sold, like Capgemini and other, they come uh, to uh, give you the placement. So they always see in your CV that, okay, you have the degree in computer science engineering or electronics, but what else do you have? So your becoming a bilingual will help. And a lot of uh, opportunities are there for the French uh, speaking students. So this is what we are now focused to make you more. Uh, is learned in French language. 
So for that, uh, we have specially contacted Ma'am to brief you about uh, how the exams are, because unless until you don't crack the A1 exam, you won't have the global validity. So we want you to uh, go ahead with your learning and uh, whatever you can get at the university because online we kept because daytime you have the classes. So you won't be available for the regular classes. So online is very suitable for everybody. So in fact, this is what uh, the norm nowadays and uh, we can go ahead with this. So I, I, I'm, uh, I want people uh, our key students uh, must come up with the questions and ask uh, ma'am whatever queries you have is where it's interesting that uh, you already have these French companies uh, coming to your institute for placements. So as I mentioned earlier, learning a French uh, learning a foreign language or in this case a French language would give you an edge. You see, uh, if you have, if there are two or three um, candidates with the same degree or the same uh, level of education, but if there is one candidate who is able to speak the language, communicate, that person, that candidate always has an advantage. And it also gives you the flexibility to be able to work not only in, in, in India, but also in any of the French speaking companies. So it adds a value to your CV. It gives you a lot of uh, flexibility. So in fact, uh, there are a lot of Indian companies who have uh, their presence in not only in France, but also West African uh, countries mm -hmm. uh, where uh, the French language is the national language. So there where the, they can work in Indian companies who have operations in Francophone countries, or they can also work in French countries. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so there was uh, one student said about the timing. Yeah, timing will be, uh, in fact, uh, it will be six hours per week. And uh, as uh, Bhavna said, there will be 120 hours of course duration, and which we planned to have uh, online classes after 7 p.m and uh, seven to nine days uh, you can decide with the teacher and it will be six hours per week and uh, it will go on uh, for say six month duration and uh, interesting part is that there will be two teachers uh, like uh, uh, first 60 hours a 1.1 will be taught by a indian uh, teacher and the next 60 hours will be taught by a native teacher. So you will have the kind of a combination of an Indian and native trainer. So that will give a kind of an edge where you will be eligible to speak to a native person in the way they speak. So that is what a uniqueness of our course. So. Yes, this combination of a native and Indian teacher is very interesting. With the Indian teacher, you learn the basics. And uh, with the native teacher, you also get accustomed to different accents. So when in a, in a real life situation, uh, you don't hesitate. You are comfortable speaking to a native. And uh, learning a language is just not learning the French language. is just not to learn to speak the language or to communicate. But there are also cultural aspects. With the native teacher, uh, you are you 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 also get uh, you also know about the cultural aspects, the cultural differences. So we'll also having this what we discussed with uh, the director, Mr. Nicholas, mm -hmm. uh, in his last visit. That we'll have also a French club at Keat. So, like the students uh, who are studying French, or uh, there are a lot of uh, students from the African countries who speak French. And they only speak French. They, they don't have a means. They are not used to English. So, so they will be a resource here in Keat to help our students to pick up the French accent. So that kind of a francophone ecosystem is what we plan to set up in Keat, so that more and more students not only learn the language, they can have the opportunity to practice it, and also we will have more sessions of cultural activities like. Uh, uh, the guest coming from Alliance versus Bengal or Delhi uh, about a musician or films uh, filmmaker or anybody any any celebrity or any uh, expert in different domain they can come and they can uh, engage with students so this is what they can get an exposure about the French culture French history and lot many other facets of uh, France 
so this is what we thought of and uh, the beginning is about language and then go ahead with the cultural aspect so yes there will be uh, many cultural activities uh, from time to time uh, maybe uh, a french film festival and like you said uh, there would be uh, uh, different uh, maybe authors visiting from different domains uh, specialists from different domains visiting and you can have an interactive session so it's just not learning the language but there is so much more to it it opens up the horizon so in fact uh, one student asked uh, will bhavna ma'am teach in fact bhavna ma'am will be the coordinator of the entire course and she will uh, monitor your progress and those yes, students maybe. who have not uh, done 30 hours course well fine this is course for the beginner anybody can join and uh, anybody can join the course it's not that you have done a 30 hours or not so it's like we will be starting from the scratch there is another question if you wish to contact bhavna ma'am later for the queries how will you do okay once okay. you join the course uh, ma'am will be available for any uh, doubt clearing session and uh, there will be the teachers and bhavna ma'am will be there so that kind of a session we want to have every week but at least every month we can have one session when you meet all the th uh, two teachers and bhavna ma'am absolutely so i mail id later and uh, once the course starts we can always have these interactive sessions to discuss your progress so we will be in fact uh, our course uh, we will notify uh, probably this week and how to proceed everything will be there and uh, we want more and more students not only from the keep but also from other institutions to join since uh, it's an online course and uh, alliance francis is our partner now so many students from uh, odisha who are interested to uh, hone their french skill they can join us and also they can participate in the club activities which will be uh, in for in future we will be uh, initiating I've already finished a1 level okay fine uh, a2 level we have to wait uh, like let the first 120 hours batch uh, get over like that their course get finished you can join the a2 level because uh, uh, it's a continuous process like uh, once we complete the a1 batch they will be for instance uh, in september we complete the a1 batch then from uh, october onwards we will start the a2 and they will be a1 also then at one point of time they will be fresher the beginner and they will be a2 batch will also be continued so it's up to you we are giving the training uh, how to crack the exam so then you have to sit for the delf exam and where is there any question you can put in the chat box if i've already finished here okay fine or you can ask questions so what is the procedure to apply for the delf exam now now Okay uh well it is very simple once uh, uh the objective is that you complete your 120 hours of course and once you've completed 120 hours of course uh we will share uh we will share with KIT uh this delf examination session for every year so for 2023 we already have the calendar for delf exam published which we will be sharing it with your university and uh say for instance if you complete your 120 hours of a1 level in september uh there will be a session mid september we will communicate the dates and we will also be sending you the registration form all the details will be mentioned in the form all you have to do is uh, register for the exam there would be a registration fees for the exam also and uh, just very simple documents like your id or dress proof uh, is required that is it okay. and once in you fact, have registered uh, i'm sorry yeah in fact the registration will be uh, there will be delf portal will be there i think it will be online registration Yes, yes. We will be sending you all the details. Everything would be online, uh, and uh, first uh, we will be uh, sending you the exam dates and also the registration dates. The registration dates usually start three to four weeks before the exam dates, so everything will be mentioned. Will be mentioned, and all you need to do is uh, those who want to take. Uh, I would suggest that once you've completed your A one, it is always advisable to take the DELF exam, and you register for the exam. You send us your details. You. you 
you have the registration fees and once we get your details we will start communicating with you we will send you the admit cards and we will give you the details for the exam yeah. Fine. In fact, uh, one more information I'd like to tell uh, students that uh, this 120 hours of course, which the KEET and uh, Alliance process mm -hmm. will jointly run, after the completion of the course, you will get the certification jointly by the KEET University and Alliance process bingo. So yes. that is the certificate for sure. And DELF exam, depending upon your performance, in fact, uh, we know uh, we will be providing the best training. And after that, you are going to clear the DELF A1 exam for sure. And after that, you can pursue for the A2. Uh, there are questions. Uh, Ma'am, for MBA, will there be better opportunities in France and what level of proficiency is required? Well, uh, you do, you will have a lot of options in France. And for that, I would also, uh, perhaps my colleague from uh, Campus Force uh, can get in touch with you or you can get in touch with Campus Force who will be able to guide you with the universities in France and the level I would suggest, yes, with A1, like I said, it's a survival French, okay? But if you have a B1, it's always better. So just to, you know, give you the difference between this level, I would say if you have an A1 level and you go to France, then you can go to a boulangerie. Boulangerie is a bakery. You can ask, uh, I want to buy a baguette. Baguette, it's, it's a sort of a bread, okay? You buy the baguette, you pay, and you come out of the bakery. What, but if you have an A2 level, you can say, you can say, oh, yesterday I bought the baguette from another bakery and today, you know, yours, I feel yours is much better. So you compare if you have the A2 level. But if you have the B1 level, you go to the same shop, you buy the ba uh, baguette, but you can also have the conversation with the with the baker about the weather, for instance, or you can tell which, uh, patis uh, which uh, pastry you like. You see, so uh, if you want to go for your MBAs, of course, uh, with A1, you can, but uh, with B1, it gives you an edge. You are you are uh, at ease communicating. Okay, uh, well, there are a few questions are there. Mm -hmm. uh, will it enroll us for the DELF exams on each level? Could you please repeat the answer to so this? The next was like Keith will not uh, like we uh, since we are Keith is a partner of uh, Alliance Process now. So all the students uh, who want to uh, appear for DELF. Kids School of Language will be the facilitator because we will be working in collaboration with the land sources and uh, whatever information they will share, we will facilitate and uh, we will ensure that all your concerns or queries are addressed. And uh, would you please repeat the answer this network is connected. Okay. So now there's another question. So those who have already studied French in school for five years, they can apply for DELF directly. Uh, well, if you when uh, when you say you've studied for five years in school, um, I would suggest uh, uh, because um, from my experience, I come across many students who say I have been studying French for five years in my school. Can I sit for this level? But I would suggest that a little a quick uh, placement test or a level test is necessary because what you do in school for five years may not exactly correspond to the syllabus of 120 hours of DELF A1. So I would suggest that even if you are, I'm sure you know a bit of French, I would suggest just to be sure uh, that you uh, that a level test is conducted, a placement test is conducted uh, by the French teachers to understand uh, where exactly, I mean, what are your weaknesses, what are your strengths, and accordingly the teachers can advise whether you're eligible to appear for the DELF or not. Because often in school, the syllabus, because in schools, the French is taught sometimes as a third language and sometimes uh, as an extracurricular activity. So even if you have learned for five years, it may not necessarily correspond to the curriculum set by uh, the European framework. And then uh, I have done French via Duolingo. Uh, so would it be accepted? What is Duolingo? Well, I'm, 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 I'm actually, yes, um, <laughs> Duolingo, I, as far as, well, I know it is an application that helps you to learn the language, but uh, it is, um, uh, well, it is, it is very uh, nice that you are motivated to learn the language on your own. It, it's uh, bravo, but uh, uh, Duolingo helps to a certain extent. It can uh, 
guide you, but not uh, totally. So even if you have learned uh, uh, using the Duolingo, I would still suggest that you ha you join the classes, the regular classes, to be able to appear for the Delft A1 exam, to obtain the diploma. So in fact, uh, all the students who enroll for our course will also be provided with a book. Yes. Uh, uh, which is uh, made uh, specially by the Blanc Francais and it catered to the syllabus of the Delphi exam. So the pattern and everything uh, will be as per the Delphi exam. So that book will be the major uh, kind of uh, handbook which you can refer all the time. And uh, the teacher will also teach from that book primarily. And there will be also, what will be the se sessions? How are you planning to conduct the classes? Like at uh, uh, what will be the di diet lecture or the videos or what you want to, means how you want to take uh, the class? You mean to say the mode of instruction? like uh, uh, Yeah, online classes, how uh, do you take generally? We, uh, can, uh, we can use uh, Zoom. Uh, you can use Zoom. Yeah, Zoom is there, but uh, what yeah. will be your method of instructions and like there will be uh, 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 activities, videos, audios, uh, or what kind of... Uh, what are the features I can say? So there's uh, Yes. Uh, so like you mentioned, we have a book called Tech French, which we will be using. And besides the book, of course, the teacher will be following the book. But besides the book, there will also be external resources. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, resources that online resources that we'll be sharing with the students we'll be using in class. And um, uh, the method of teaching is rather uh, communicative or uh, action oriented. So here you're not just going to learn how to conjugate the verbs, grammar. Yes, grammar is important, but uh, we would also focus on all, like I said, we focus on all the four skills. And to be able to do that, we have a very communicative approach, uh, which is very similar to real life situations. So, and we would be using many ludic activities. In class, there would be videos, songs, maybe clips of movies to learn the French language, not just from the book. So we are not just, uh, we would be using a variety of resources. That's, 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 that's what uh, will be making the classes more interactive and engaging. So mm -hmm. uh, for that, uh, the students will be more eager to join the Lance Francis classes. So I want anybody, if you have, how far learning French language better opportunities for placements like engineering, well, as uh, the companies which ma'am sold, Renault, Capgemini, and those are the engineering companies. So they are the big brands. And uh, in fact, Rafael is for the engineering, for like aeronautical, mechanical engineering, uh, electronics engineering, they can. A lot of French companies, they are in India. and. Uh, you can aspire for the Airbus is their one. Name whichever industry, they are there in the power sector, infrastructure, everywhere. So for the engineers, uh, the French companies are in abundance. And you, you should learn the French uh, from the, the organization which have authority on that. So Alliance Francis is the official organization from the French government. So and uh, we have collaborated with them and uh, since Odisha this is the first of its kind uh, association i can say that uh, uh, a university has tied up with Lance Francis to make students uh, get the course from the campus in online mode which is very flexible yes so thanks to this collaboration the courses will be uh, easily available uh, to to students in Orissa and yeah. Uh, yeah. in fact this is for all students not only key there are in fact bhubneshwar uh, is uh, education hub nowadays like we have a lot of government like iit is there like uh, amit sir there's another question in the chat yeah. box yeah i know no, uh, how far learning french language okay fine uh well uh, is our price well the course uh, cost uh, 20000 uh, for 6 months 120 hours and uh, the notification will be issued soon by the registrar. And you will be provided the book and the teachers are with you, like Mr. Mohanty will be there and there will be native teacher and Ms. Bhavna will be there. So this entire course uh, will be taken care of by these three uh, instructors. So we so, will be, as a team, we will be accompanying you in this journey. Yes.
and there will be a lot of in fact we will be in the mean uh, while we will be also inviting experts from calcutta to come to university and interact with you directly in fact ms bhavna can also come because uh, one on one interaction will also uh, helpful like mr uh, mohanty is here in the campus but uh, uh, ms bhavna and the native teacher can also come on day so that kind of arrangement will also do absolutely face to face interaction is always interesting so we could organize sessions uh, between so uh, any more question please go ahead so uh, i think students are well uh, i like to uh, express my thankful to uh, thank you to all the participants today and uh, especially to our speaker ms bhavna in fact uh, i would uh, first of all in fact uh, this uh, i'll extend my gratitude to the management of the university uh, especially to the vice chancellor uh, professor sasmita uh, samant ma'am to the registrar uh, professor gananjan mohanty and uh, mr nicolas fasino who is the director for lance francis uh, bengal uh, who collaborated who thought to start a kind of uh, this kind of engagement so that students will get benefited and uh, we school of language uh, are the implementer in fact our dean professor virendra pandey also played a great role in uh, uh, having the discussion round with uh, mr fasino along with mr subran sumant our french teacher so all these uh, people were very much uh, I mean, uh, I mean, they are very much engaged from the beginning uh, of the process, and now we want you to uh, associate with the School of Language to ensure that you built up the proficiency which the industry want. Like uh, as uh, we said uh, many times that uh, today uh, in this competitive world, only the degree will not be uh, enough. You need to have something extra to make your career very uh, prospective. so come and join us the school of language we already have 15 language courses but this is a kind of a upgraded version of what french you are being learning now so 120 hours is the beginning we will take you to the journey uh, well as i said the price is 20000 for 120 hours course and after completion of a1 you will be also have the opportunity to study a2 a2 will be having the same price so it's a kind of a every 6 month you can have an engagement if it is up to you whether you want to uh, remain uh, with a1 or you want to go ahead so we are here to train you our uh, effort will be to make you enable to crack the exam so this is what uh, i want to say and uh, i would request uh, mr manthi if you can say uh, because you will be anyhow uh, initiating the first 60 hours because those students will come they will come to you first you yeah, is not coming to me first or second <laughs> question of learning the language i think those who are interested uh, well let me tell, because there is a question how difficult it is i think uh, ms bhavna answered that question correctly but i can tell you that it's not at all difficult it's uh, really a sim- the, i think the most simple language uh, uh, among european languages so that is how i i view it and i have also taught students uh, earlier on so it's not the first time and it's been a long long time that i've been teaching so it's from my experience that i can tell you so that's also why i uh, hope to looking forward to having you in my class and our classes rather uh, sooner the better okay uh, thank that's you all. thank you mr mohanty in fact uh, as one question is still uh, coming like uh, it's online cl- classes uh, 7 pm onwards weekly 6 hours three classes per week and uh, in fact two hours per class and then uh, you'll be having six hour duration means uh, six month duration and uh, first 60 hours will be uh, taught by mr mohanty and then another 60 hours will be by the native teacher cost as i said is 20000 so i think there won't be any ambiguity now so since you all are acquainted with the covid kind of uh, setup where everybody is tuned to study online so online is not a difficult task nowadays 
So uh, I'd like to uh, request Bhavna to uh, say your final remarks so that we can wind up the meeting today. Thank you, Samir. Uh, well, it was a pleasure uh, interacting with all of you. I would like to thank Samir. I'd like to thank Mr. Monti. I'd like to thank the team of uh, KIT University. And of course, to all the participants, uh, it was a pleasure. And uh, I hope uh, I hope to see you in our, one of, uh, in our classes. No, thank you very much. Thank you, all the students. So I formally close the meeting now. And we'll see you in the classes. Those who are interested to join, they may join uh, from uh, till 5th March. We will be keeping the admission open. And this week, the notification will reach to you from the registrar office. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Re